Vampires. Evil creatures of the night with an endless thirst for power and bodily fluids. They are known among the citizens of Skyrim as harassers, heretics, and homewreckers? Which brings us to our hero, Joe Joman, loving husband and father, on a quest to become the High King of Skyrim. While studying the ways of the Sigma male under Septimus Sigma himself, Joe was approached by a goth lady who invited him to find an Elder Scroll back at her house, which I guess is what they're calling it nowadays. No problem, I'll handle it. Since Joe loves his wife almost as much as he loves euphemisms, Oh my- he's, he's sucking me! Joe decided to head there immediately without even considering visiting his family. And by head there immediately, I actually mean we first stop by the East Imperial Trading Company to cook up a quick batch. Oh. Hello? Oh shit! These are vampires! These damn vampires are getting out of hand. I'm- I'm positively damp right now fighting these vampires. I got a message from you from Louis Latouche. This is for double crossing. Thank you, orc friend, for helping me. Jesus! Ah! <laughs> whoa! Whoa! Friendly fire! You bastard! I thought we were cool. Damn! There's so, so many people after Joe out here. He's, we got a lot of enemies. Oh, Eldritch Page. So this is from our Sigma male professor. Our curriculum is scattered throughout the world on on corpses. I'm not sure exactly how this works, but we need to grab these. That's uh, courtesy of Professor Sigma Man. Oh, so here's another one, Eldritch Page. So we'll probably see how that works once we get a few more of them. Cannot believe Joe sided with the Dawn Guard. Vampires are evil. They're working with the IRS. Not that that makes them inherently evil, but it's just uh, another fact, you know. Real quick, I gotta take a moment to remind you to subscribe if you haven't already, and to follow my Twitch, where we film these live. Thanks. Now back to Joe. Holy shit. <laughs> oh. What's this big old monkey headed? You going to monkey land, brother? Nah, don't mind me. Joe racism. That wasn't a racist moment. Do you see that thing? What is that? What's that noise? Holy shit, he followed me home! Oh my god! Intruder! <laughs> Kill it! Oh my god, he followed me home! I guess he wasn't going to monkey land, he was going to my house. Someone there? Someone there? What? Oh my god, he, he, the monkey brought friends! Holy shit, he's got his fists out! Stay away from me! God damn it. There's all kinds of raids going on. Dude, everybody's out to get Joe. We got the DEA, the IRS, the FBI, the CIA. Bro, name an organization that doesn't want Joe's head. Yeah, I know I want Joe's head. After Joe let the chopper sing for the ops, we took our carriage to Dawnstar for a connecting flight via boat to Serana's house. And we were only attacked one more time on our way there. Wait, where is Allie? How come every week one of our one of our companions is just missing? I don't know where Allie went, she's just vanished. Oh. Why is everyone out to get Joe today? I just wanted to do some like shopping errands. Hurry this up, Frost Dragon. I got places to be. I got a, I got a woman I'm supposed to meet. Oh my god. Maybe I can just ignore it. You guys got, like, guards, right? Do I really have to handle every dragon that wanders into this place? Wait, is this the boat guy? Hey! Sir! Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to take care of it. Yeah, just sit there. Just sit there for a while. I, I like this strategy.
Perfect. What an incredible kill shot. Boat boy, I require your boat services. After our Uber driver scammed us out of more gold than the dragon even dropped, we were finally ready to find that Elder Scroll. Ah, Serana. So you've been waiting for me. I'm ready if you are. Oh, just, just like that? All right. Yeah, let's go. Well, I don't take just anyone into my secret parts. What, what do you mean? Get rid of this interloper and you and I can be on our way. This interloper? Are you talking about Feindal? Ah, oh, shit. Listen, Feindal, you know how it is, right? I need some alone time. I'll I'll meet up with you later, I guess. I'll head back home if you need me. All right, Serana. Now we're all alone. I'm ready if you are. Let's go explore the secret entrance. Come on, it's just around the side. Where, are you gonna lead me? I don't know where the secret entrance is. Yes. What did you need? I need you to go. I can't wait to see the courtyard again. Okay, I guess I'll find it. No, that's fine, Serana. Why would you lead me around your childhood home whenever I could lead you around it instead? Yeah, just around this bend. Just around this bend? Oh yeah, thank you. Thanks for the direction, Serana. Had to figure it out myself. We'll find- we'll catch up with Feindal later. He would just, you know, two's a party, three's a crowd. You know how it is. It's worth noting at this point that Joe currently has 255 steel bolts, which I thought would be more than enough for one quest. That was before we met the bullet sponges that inhabit Serana's back door. Skeleton fight. Bone battle. Just killing the three skeletons outside took nearly 50 bolts. You live like this, huh, Serana? Never ceases to amaze me. Oh, shit. I think I just killed your dog. I'm sorry, it startled me. You got a lot of dogs. I mean, don't mind if I just put them all down, I guess. They don't seem very well- Oh, she's she's trying to as well. It's cool. Wait, the dog- Oh my god, the little one was back. Well, it's okay. At least I get to relive my favorite part now. Shooting this little rat again. Ah, uh, never gets old. Nico is in a 1v3 dogfight situation. Oh god, don't let it bite me. It was murdering Serana's family. I don't think she's related to these dogs. Well, uh, you know, pets are family, I guess. Where are we? Oh my god, there's another one! Why are there so many dogs in this house? They look so gross. Uh, who is this? Do you know this lady, Serana? Bro. There's no way that dog came back to life just to kill me from behind. Alright. And nothing I love more than getting mauled by <laughs> feral pit bulls 20 times in a row. Oh, we didn't see that one coming, did you, mutt? Oh my god, I'm sorry, Miko. I didn't mean you. Yeah, thanks for the sub. Four months. Appreciate it. Shit. Man, I tried to try to read one message. What do I get? Mauled by a pit bull. I didn't realize we were playing toddler simulator. <laughs> Joe is taking part in the dog fighting by making Miko fight them. Well, Miko is a good boy and he likes fighting. I, you know, I, I really don't have an excuse for it. I, I actually can't come up with a single reason why Joe should should be using Miko in these fights at all, to be honest. He likes it though. You can tell he's into it. Oh my god, the pitbull's walking again. Bro, who is resurrecting it? The lack of Feindal was making things difficult, but with the help of our Daedra summon, we were able to finally break up the dogfighting ring in the foyer and proceed towards Serana's room. Yay, more dogs. This is exactly what I was hoping for. How is it possible to have this many dogs in a house? This place sucks. I regret not just going to hang out with Mule. Ew, when's the last time you swept this place? Huh, you ever heard of a vacuum, Serana? Oh shit, that's a weird fucking dog. Serana was turning out to be quite the irresponsible dog mom, and providing postnatal abortions to all of her fur babies ended up costing another 50 bolts before we made it to the courtyard. I hate this place. Not gonna lie, Serana, we probably should have just gone back to my place instead. Is this your garden? Everything looks dead. It was beautiful once. Wow, I don't believe that for a second. Something's wrong with the moon dial here. Some of the crests are missing and the dial is askew. Yeah, yeah, you want me to walk around, pick up some little plates. 
Picking up your dirty dishes laying around. Pretending it's a puzzle. Oh, you're having me fix your staircase too, huh? I'm just doing home maintenance now. Fine, yeah, let's go down into the basement. Since this place is so well kept, I'm sure the rest of it will be very nice too. Going to Serana's apartment to find an Elder Scroll wasn't turning out to be as much fun as Joe thought, and he was starting to feel used by Serana. Serana, where's the living room? <laughs> How big is this place? Where's your TV at? Little did he know, he still had a grueling 20 minutes of involuntary spring cleaning ahead of him. The bolt situation is not looking good. I didn't expect to need over 200 bolts to just get to Serana's living room. Oh, here it is. Ah, finally. This is the TV, right? Oh, you got a Roku? How's it work? Now that they had finally made it to her room, Serana wouldn't stop talking about her mom and made Joe fix her TV. Any luck yet? Serana, give me a minute. Just give me one minute, all right? Serana is so needy, unlike Mule. Actually, so true. That's why Mule is Joe's true love. She's a strong, independent Nord woman. Serana wants us to clean up her house and kill her dogs and fix her TV. So high maintenance. All right, Serana, I, I, I plugged in the HDMI cable. You just turn it on. Okay, here goes. Now her TV was fixed, but apparently she didn't pay her subscription fee. It's trying to take your life essence as payment. Oh, so now you want my life essence too. We could just pay the toll another way. It wants a soul, so we give it a soul. Yours. You want me to give up my soul? My mother taught me a trick or two. And then, Serana sucked the soul out of Joe. <laughs> that's it. And that's how Joe ended up in hell. Well, this looks nice. Tron, I don't feel right. Let's keep moving. I feel oddly cold. Okay. Not very many friendly types around here. Where'd you come from? What? Oh. Oh, more skeletons. My favorite. Oh, thank God. These ones seem weaker. Actually, I won't lie. Hell looks a little bit nicer than I thought it would. Then we encountered this man, who needed help rescuing the soul of a noble steed. You know, I lost a fine horse once. We should help him. You know, I thought there'd be a lot more like fire. <gasps> Holy shit! There he is! Hey! Hey, horse! Hey! That horse looked kind of familiar, was that just me? Serana said that we could finally find an Elder Scroll somewhere in here, but first, we set out into the depths of hell to rescue this equestrian enigma. There could be a lot of reasons a horse ends up in hell. Aw, oh, cut, cut him some slack. <laughs> Average day in Detroit? No, we were in, in Dwarf Troit last week. Oh. Hello. Oh, wait, okay, maybe I should speak before shooting. Oh shit, okay, yeah, I knew it. Ow! Being sent to hell won't look good in the polls. Yeah, but crawling out of hell will look great. At the cost of half of our remaining bolts, we were able to rescue the horse's soul. Looks very, very cold. Is it just me? The man taught us a spell that could summon the soul of a dead horse to ride once again. Unfortunately, we were about 50 magicka short of casting it. Setting aside the spell for later, we continued on towards Serana's room. And then, we ran into the last person Joe wanted to see right now, Serana's mother. And, like mother like daughter, she also wanted us to fix something broken in her house. We needed to open the stuck door to her room by killing three gatekeepers scattered throughout hell. Alright, 
Yes. I guess I'll just do whatever you say now, too. Sigma Professor, am I doing a good job? Oh god, 6.5%. Oh, we're definitely simping too hard, he knows. You know, Joe's seen a lot of low points in his life, but this might truly be the lowest. We've completely bent our knee. Oh my god, he has so much health. We have to kill three of these things? <laughs> Why is everything around here a complete bullet sponge? Let's grab our sword and get back to Serana. We need somebody face tanking this guy. Serrano, where are you? Oh shit, he's getting close. Serrano, I need your assistance. Serrano? Oh, there she is. Oh, just in time for me to die. Joe needs to go back to Kenrith, get his life back together, and fix his marriage with Mule. Honestly, I'm starting to think you're right. Hell is changing my perspective on some things. Today's been rough. Oh, look at Eldritch Page. Hey, you know what? We admitted that what we were doing were wrong, well, was wrong, and our Sigma professor gave us a new page. Maybe things are finally turning around. Um, where's the next closest one? It's all the way across hell? Well, uh, they're making me walk <laughs> all the way across hell, uphill both ways. No way. <laughs> Dude, oh my god, why? <laughs> why? <laughs> oh my god. Oh shit, there's one. Floor seven, please. Oh, it's gooping in my eyes. Okay, so I have an idea for this one. Since, um, Serana's not here to help us, and we have like five crossbow bolts left, I think we're gonna have to do an Operation Tripwire to take care of this guy. I don't really see a good way to knock him off, though. Like over here, maybe? Oh, it's like a downhill at slope over here. Over here. I'm over here. Whew. God damn it. Okay. Now we trip wire. Oh god, please. Please don't. Ooh, ooh. God. Hey, good work, Kind Reef. Uh, with every with every keeper we slay, we become more of a Sigma once again. Alright, Serana, come on. One more stupid bone keeper. Oh shit. Let's get our boy Kynreeve in there. The real MVP of hell. Holy shit, there's a lot of enemies here. Oh my god. He's getting clowned on. We haven't even gotten to the keeper yet. Back. Ooh. Easy double dodge there. Oh my god, Kynreeve is going crazy right now. Ah, it was this guy, wasn't it? Alright. Um, okay. We let them tank. And then we step up. And then we die accidentally. Oh my god, he killed Kynreeve. Oh, finish him, finish him. Done and done. Done and done. After completing the most grueling home improvement project yet, we finally got permission from Serana's mom to enter her room. But of course, there was one more obstacle in Joe's way. Princess, the 12-ton flying zombie mixed-breed mutt. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> we gotta take cover. This is about to get nasty. How many bolts do we have? Ten? Oh, that's bad. We keep the Kine Reeve out to take on the, the ads. And we just take some pod shots at him. This might not be terrible. Oh, yeah. Actually, wait. We should save the bolts we have for our crits. We have to wait, like, ten seconds between shots. Use your one-shot move? Oh shit, I didn't think about that. Wait, we have one bullet left. I'm gonna have to wait until I get a good shot. I should have started it there. I, it takes like 10 seconds to, uh, to use the ability. Come down here and face me, coward. There it is. Hold. 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 Fire. Oh! Holy shit! What a shot, Joe! Oh my god, I can't believe that worked! Well done! That's why you don't fuck with Joe Joman. Joe had gone through hell and put up with all of Serana's nonsense for this moment. It was finally time to find an Elder Scroll with her. 
What did you want? Despite all the hints and signals, it turns out that finding an Elder Scroll was literal and not a euphemism. This was not worth it at all. <laughs> I just want to go. Let's just get out of here. I would speak with you, Quanarin. Uh, listen, I'm I got a busy schedule, Dernavir. I don't. Know, if you got something important to tell me? We will continue this when time releases you from its relentless grasp. Oh, I can actually just say fuck off and stop talking to him. We are a Sigma male after all. See you later, loser. <laughs> and that's when Joe finally remembered the teachings of his dear professor. If he wanted to be a real Sigma male, he had to take the most Sigma course of action. Ignore Serana and the Dawnguard questline completely. I think it's time we parted ways, actually. Oh, all right then. You know where to find me. Yeah, I think I just... I think this time I need some space, actually. Joe realized that a real Sigma male wouldn't waste his kingly time in a DLC chasing after silly little vampires. He had a throne to chase after. So, he picked up Feindall once again and came home to his loving wife. God, I missed you so much. I had... <laughs> I've been through hell and back to get here, Mule. Can I have my allowance? 